Hello all, welcome to this flow series number two. Here we are going to see how to create a new record using the screen flow. So the requirement is pretty simple. Oh, I need to create a contact using the screen flow and add the screen flow on the account lightning page so that users can create the contacts easily. All right, I'm on my Salesforce org. I open one of the account records here. So, you know, uh, the out of box Salesforce function for um, create new contact itself, uh, EC1. Uh, it just has a couple of fields. Oh, okay, yeah, it just has a couple of fields here, but just wanted to uh, show you guys like how we can go uh, use our screen flow to create records. So that's what my whole intention for this video is. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, create a screen flow. Uh, on this, go to your flow on setup and click on new flow. And so this is the new landing page for summer 24 release. I'm I'm on my summer 24 release version, so you'll be seeing this uh, nearly soon in your logs as well. So let's start from scratch. And yeah, these are the new things that they are showing here. So we are going to uh, create a screen flow. Select your screen flow. Click on create. And here, and use this plus icon to add an element. And uh, we need to have a screen. So this is where user is going to enter the data for contact creation. Let's name the screen and uh, so i'm gonna add a section first so this is the component that we can use to uh, show in a section like uh, instead of showing in a list uh, whatever the things that they wanted to enter like a name first name last name email phone um, we can have as a section and uh, show three fields in left side and three fields in the, on the right side so that's the only reason i'm adding the section and uh, for the contact creation uh, we need first name and last name of contact i added an under the section but uh, i have to add it in this inside the section so that it displays like this so here i have my first name last name then i need a uh, email of the contact i added in the next section on the uh, right side of the section and i need phone where is the phone number all right i think uh these are the only information i need for contact creation right yep so let's say uh give a name for everything so for phone number just give phone just AP name, email, say email, first name, say name. So this is a whole section, first name and last name. So just giving us a name, as a AP name. So, all right. So uh, user enter everything here. Let's see. Done. Then let's, uh, so after user entering the information, we need to, Create a record. So use create records to create a contact now. See, create a contact. All right. Oh, this is also new. I think previously it was the radio button and now they moved to a list view. But yeah, I'm going to select manually and I'm uh, going to select my object that is a contact okay so what the left side is the fields from the contact object and the right side is the fields from the screen component so just we are going to map the things the user user entering uh, on the screen to the fields on the contact object that's it so here it already has the last name so i'm gonna add first name then I need to add email and then phone number. 
okay there are so many phones but i am going to select business phone okay so i have added the list of uh, fields from the contact object so now i am going to map the values from the screen component so if you click on this value you'll be seeing the screen component uh, section uh, then I, here I, I wanted to add a last name right so click on this name then it will show the things that are available so select last name so i pass the last name here so likewise uh, again select name and pass the first name so first name and last name passed so for email again go to your screen components select email and select the value add it here then for phone the same thing phone value so whatever information user enters will get passed to this uh, field values here i think pretty much it right so let's save it let's give a name sorry contact creation from account uh, see and activated so once you activated it it should be available in your light like, view so refresh your page uh, and uh, i'm on the account record here i'm clicking on this settings gear icon and edit page so just i'm adding the screen flow into the lightning record page of the account that's it uh, and then you see in the left side there is a flow component you can simply drag and drop wherever you wanted to see this so i added it added it here and select your flow uh, this is our flow right contact creation from account then save it change the saved go back and you should be seeing see now uh our flow is visible here all right it's misaligned but yeah let's check okay i'm gonna give name so f name l name email f name artist dot com and the phone number one two one two one two one two one two all right so then click next i guess yeah it's created successfully i think so because it doesn't give any uh, error message but i don't see our contacts here let's go to the i'm opening this contact tab let's see what's happening okay all right so it create the contact but because we don't have the account mapping from our flow it's not showing up okay let's update it then okay so because we are adding um so adding our screen flow here and uh, it, it doesn't really make sense for a user to enter the information again right account information should be automatically uh, included so to do that let's go back to our screen flow and here on the create contact we should have account mapping right account id okay all right so to map the account id to the screen flow we have to create a resource let's call it as account id 
and see that is a text data type as a text and select available for input so what i am doing here is i am creating one of the variable um, so it ha it can hold the account id information so that it it will get passed to the screen flow at the time of creation then uh, screen flow use that id to create an account so that's uh, sorry create a contact so that's the main use so we have to select this available for input checkbox i'll tell you in a minute like why it is really needed so click on done so i mapped account id with our resource newly created resource let's save uh, save us and give a description add at the account mapping it always good to have a description so that you know what is the I, I what is the update that you have on that particular version so save it activate all right let's go back to our account page and i'm gonna edit the page again so click on this flow component and you should be seeing this account id so this is the variable that i have created in my flow right so uh, here we have to select this checkbox pass record id to into this variable so that this checkbox will pass the current record id that is the account id to this variable so that um, this this variable will hold the account record id and then pass to this contact creation at the time of creation so i hope it should work let's test it i saved it and i'm going back to the record page again let's see yes name one yes name one yes name one at test dot com one two three one two three one two So I have added all this information and before clicking next, I have three contacts here. So this should be the fourth one. Let's click next and boom. So we have contact four now. Where is our contact? So this is here. F name one, L name one. This is the one that we have created. And it has the account mapping. Account name is over there. So yeah, that's how uh we need to do that so in the screen flow if at all you wanted to pass uh, the record id the on the whatever the page that the screen flow runs right so you have to create a variable and select the checkbox saying okay available for input so once you check this checkbox it will be available on that page layout lightning records layout and then you select the other checkbox on the layout so that it pass the current record id to that variable Sorry, you get the ID. I hope it clarifies. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the screen flow. I'll be happy to help. All right, see you in our next video. Bye bye.